I spray like a full sample of Sauvage Parfum. I've smelled it a while ago too, so I've really given it a lot of chances. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Thank you guys all for tuning in to another video today on the somewhat infamous Dior Sauvage Parfum. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I was kind of like a sucker for the original Sauvage. I really, really like it. It's one of my favorite kind of masculine scents that just smells good. Just works in every situation, but it's been, you know, super popularized. It's been copied and some people don't really like it as much. Where I posted like a poll why I don't really like designer scents anymore. Now, I do like designer scents, but this scent shows and kind of is a good example of why I haven't been into very many designer scents as much. There, There's so much marketing and influence behind the Dior Sauvage, everything with that. And it's just, I found Dior Sauvage perfume to be very simple. And it's just crazy that these designer scents, they don't really come out with very many new stuff. They like to copy old stuff and make like flankers of flankers of flankers of stuff that's, that sells really good. I just feel like they put all this information, they have all this brand name, just this big parade basically for somewhat of a basic simple scent. Like there's really almost not going to be a new unique designer scent if you guys look at probably the only unique one that i could think of this year is like one million lucky obviously that one went through the roof because it smells really good and it's unique most of the time i just find that it's just too much genericness with new designer scents but i'm not saying that there won't be a good one or that i don't like them i like a lot of the ones that i know a lot of designer scents that i already own but as far as new ones there's not that many ones that wow me and let's enter dior sauvage parfum to me a juicier maybe smoother version of sauvage without any of the punch or like the the thick pepper or the sharpness that a sauvage had and i think that sharpness and muskiness and manliness is what made sauvage unique and it's why i like sauvage not saying this isn't a bad scent this is a good scent i'll put the the notes on the screen but to me it's just more generic so Tavaj had so many things pulling on it as once and then you basically stripped some of its extra stuff and made it just a really smooth fruity scent which it doesn't smell bad by any means i'd much prefer the original sauvage maybe even sauvage edp this is kind of closer to sauvage edp than it is to the original sauvage i smell just that extra nuances that they put in the edp i smell in the parfum people say that it lasts really long I spray like a full sample of sauvage parfum i've smelled it a while ago too so i've really given it a lot of chances i haven't just sprayed it once and not liked it i sprayed it once on one hand and the original sauvage on the other hand and i actually did smell the parfum it seemed to be much longer than the original and i didn't retest it i feel like something was off there about you know eight to ten hours i can't believe that i couldn't really smell the original but i could smell the parfum but just that being said, it's not going to project that far. It's just going to last on the skin, which is something that we like. I see that people on fragrance ticket rated at 3.8. I haven't watched any other fragrance reviewers of it. And to me, it's not a bad scent, but they're trying to capitalize on Sauvage DNA. I like the original Sauvage DNA much better. Even the Sauvage EDP DNA is much better because it has somewhat of that, that a complete picture. Parfum isn't bad. I mean, if you're somebody who didn't like Sauvage for how sharp it was, you may like Parfum, but... To me, it's something that I'd pass on, and I love the original Sauvage. I, hopefully, it's not been reformulated too bad. It's just something I love to wear, and I love it for the summertime. I would pick probably the original Sauvage and then Parfum. Parfum's a little bit more, as I remember, long-lasting, a little bit more of a nighttime scent. Sauvage is a little bit more of an everyday style scent. If you wanted Sauvage to not be sharp, this one's for you, but this one wasn't for me. I see why I got a 3.8 on Fragrantica. And this is kind of why I haven't been reviewing too many designer scents because I didn't want to do a whole review just saying that, hey, this is super simple. They didn't really do much. This doesn't impress me. It's not for me. But I just, this is popular, so I wanted to put my two cents on it. And I don't want to be negative. I love the original Sauvage. I think Sauvage EDP is pretty good. I might need to double check that again. Just perfume, it wasn't for me. I also want to say, I almost got like a, it's almost a little bit closer, a tiny bit closer to an Invictus kind of smell. I did want to put that in there. It doesn't smell like Invictus, but on the dry down and just the, because the, Invictus is kind of like a, a smooth, fruity Ambroxan thing. And that's kind of what this is trying to do too. Although it does smell a lot more like Sauvage, especially in the beginning than Invictus. It has a little bit of an Invictus vibe. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. 
Kind of simple to the point. Not my cup of tea, but it might be for you. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.